Matt Mercer provides a big update on the upcoming Mighty Nine animated series. It's finally happening! Last year, Amazon announced that it was working with Critical Role and Titmouse on developing a Mighty Nine series, which would follow in the same vein as The Legend of Vox Machina. Since the announcement, we've not heard a lot about the series, well that is, until now. In a recent interview with Business Insider, Matt Mercer provided some updates about how the series is coming along and what we might see in the series. We're heavy in development on Campaign 2's animated series right now, and it's coming along so well, Mercer said. And because it's in animated form, we get to see other perspectives of the narrative as opposed to just the Mighty Nine's journey. Mercer also confirmed that the show would follow storylines that didn't play out on screen in the original campaign, such as those focused on Essex double dealing between the Dwendalian Empire and the Kryn Dynasty, and also some members of the Cerberus Assembly. We could even possibly see the Tomb Takers in action to help flesh out the whole Molly Mock Lucian storyline so that that just didn't just disappear for like two whole seasons until it becomes the big thrust of the end of the show. Now, of course, no news on whether we'll have an episode perspective on the chair. Is there anything under the chair? On the underside of the chair? Appears to be a chair. Why the chair? Why in the middle of the room? Why lock it? The chair is the key to everything. <laughs> it's the thread that holds it all together. <laughs> Why the chair, though? It's probably the biggest news that we've gotten since the actual announcement of the series last year. It also helps to explain why Critical Role is attending anime New York City later this year, uh, adding some additional smoke to the rumors that we'll be getting some kind of animated series announcement at that August show. Although, we will note that it's just as likely that a Legend of Vox Machina Season 3 announcement is coming, since we know that that season is also heavily in development. And hey, have we mentioned that there will probably be a Season 4 and Season 5 of the Legend of Vox Machina? Those haven't been formally announced, but if you know where to look, you know that those are in production too. The reminder that we're getting a Mighty Nine animated series also helps to demonstrate the scope of the Critical Role franchise to date. Recent episodes notwithstanding, and if you don't know what I mean, one, spoiler alert, and two, go and check some of our recent videos. Campaign 3 has had a trend of declining viewership, but that doesn't matter very much in the uh, grand scheme of things, simply because Critical Role is more than just its streaming show nowadays. Animated series like Vox Machina and The Mighty Nine will help to keep driving viewership to the franchise overall. In fact, we'll note that there's an interesting correlation uh, between The Legend of Vox Machina and that it may have helped the overall numbers for Critical Role, as this year-long dip in stream viewership that we've talked about in several recent videos has curiously lined up with the time since we last got new Vox Machina episodes. Now that's probably more of an indirect correlation than, you know, a direct one-to-one -one correlation, but obviously the more Critical Role stuff that appears on more platforms is probably better for Critical Role as a whole. So our question for you is, when do you think we'll get a Mighty Nine animated series release? Let us know in the comment section and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.